short video just to uh, highlight the uh, details and give you information on uh, my ultimate eel collection as you can see on the collection itself there's four colors uh, they're pretty standard colors and they are all what is accepted as top catching colors on the boats uh, rhubarb and custard for example uh, black and orange fire tails uh, blue and ice tails and the black and red also classed as fire tails the lures themselves uh, they're quite a unique uh, design v-shaped as you can see nice slender body uh, graduated along the top which does enable you to uh, cut them down in size if you want so you can reduce from the uh, the standard length which is around 20 centimeters uh, plus the jig head that you're going to use uh, and you can cut it right down to that sort of size for example and still keep the very active tail the tail itself is very very active in the water uh, and that's the top attraction to uh, uh, species like cod pollock uh, on one of the trips last year uh, this particular lure was top catching lure for the cod and the pollock took some good fish as you can see from this footage Uh, it proved very very uh, attractive um, and, and it's such a simple uh, lure itself and what we've done we've coupled it with the uh, uh, new sidewinder super jig heads so you've got a, a, a well presented lure good strong jig heads manufactured in uh, an alloy uh, and uh, coated uh, a lot stronger than uh, the average sort of lead jig heads that you get uh, it's also designed uh, with a cone on the body of the uh, the hook itself, the shaft of the hook, uh, and that's designed obviously to uh, catch the lure when you actually slide it up and lock it in place. And it does really hold it in place to the point that you don't need super glue or anything like that. Uh, and to change the lures, you do actually have to cut them off. The hook itself, that's a, a mustard ultra point. Uh, that's a 70 size the weight of that one is uh, 29 grams there is a smaller 50 version at uh, 16 grams um, and that uh, obviously suits the the smaller lures what you can consider when you're actually fishing with these uh, is to buy the package so you've got all the colors and if one isn't working then it's obviously easy just to cut it down through there just cut it off at that point take the lure off itself and you're going to end up with that basically and then okay it's shortened it slightly but it's reusable uh, alternatively um, you can obviously uh, cut that off shorten it like I said earlier and by the time you actually put the jig head on which is very very simple to do all you've got to do is just grab it in the middle there just like that slide it around to that sort of position there and then bring the jig hook out through the back of the body there as you can see and then just slide that over the cone quite easy quite simple and there you are you're back up and running again very very quick very very simple and it's extremely strong obviously uh, it's going to get pecked um, and it's going to get bitten so if you've got um, a pack of these on the on your boat trip uh, or if you're beach fishing casting off the beach then you've got a very durable lure that you like I say you can keep cutting back um, and it will uh, last a good length of time give you good value for money so it's as easy as that to actually rejig it now the, the jig head itself as you can see has got provisions for um, a second hook so if you want to put a stinger hook for example if you're fishing for really large mouth fish like cod uh, and even pollock then you can add a stinger personally I don't use stingers I do like to give the fish a little bit of a chance a bit of a sporting chance but obviously when you're lo losing a lot of bites and a lot of fish for example uh, say you're fishing out in Norway for example then you know a stinger hook or trebles uh, then you might have to resort to using them uh, but they are very easy to fit that's just an oval split ring or you can use a round one with the split ring pliers just add it remove it whenever you want to so or the other thing you can also uh, look at is if you're pike fishing this is quite a, uh, a, a good lure to consider when you're, you're out pike fishing uh, and obviously with the with pike with the big teeth big mouths 
then again uh, a lot of the lures plugs and that type of uh, uh, lures do have the uh, trebles uh, most of them have two uh, well obviously you've got a top hook here and you've got a lower hook so you know if you're uh, if you're looking at pike then you know it's another uh, lure to add into your box so there we are four colors jig heads we do a package uh, you can buy the uh, just the four um, or we do an eight pack uh, and obviously you can buy the jig heads separately as well if you wish <laughs>